Arachnophobia or the fear of spiders is the oldest and most common phobia in the western culture. The word arachnophobia is derived from the Greek word arachne meaning spiders. Spiders are not technically insects, they belong to a group of animals called arachnids. Scorpions, mites and ticks also belong to this group. Arachnids are the creatures with two bodied segments, eight legs, no wings or antenna and are not able to chew. Many people think spiders are insects but nope, they are arachnids. Since insects generally have six legs and three bodied segments and also insects have wings. Spiders are well known for their ability to spin webs. But do all spiders spin webs? No. All spiders produce silk but not all spiders can spin webs. Silk is actually used for climbing, creating webs to build smooth walls in burrows, build egg sacs and to wrap prey. This silk is produced from a gland in their abdomen called spinnerets. At the tip of a spider's abdomen are special organs called spinnerets which produces mucus. When the mucus comes in contact with air, it becomes thread, which is used by the spiders to spin their webs. Different types of spiders make different types of webs. The most common types of webs are the spiral orb web. These webs look like a wheel with spokes. Orb weaving spiders and their webs are typically found outdoors. Apart from these there are the tangle webs or the cob webs, the sheet webs, the funnel webs and the triangle webs. The tangled webs lack symmetry and are jumbles of threads typically attached to a support system like the corner of a ceiling. The sheet webs are flat sheets of silk between blades of grasses or branches. And then there are these funnel webs, which are large, flat horizontal webs with openings at the bottoms so that the spiders can escape. The triangle webs are the silky strands of spokes that connect the three strands. Triangle webs are horizontal and fuzzy, which helps in trapping the prey. There are many different types of spiders. The Lactrodictus or the Black Widow spiders are typically dark brown or shiny black in color when they are fully grown. Some of these spiders may have a pair of red spots, while others have no markings. These are known for their prevalence of cannibalistic behavior, that is, a behavior in which the female eats up the male after mating. The Wolf Spiders These are the members of the family Lycosidae, from the ancient Greek word meaning wolf. These are well known for their robust and agile hunting with excellent eyesight. They live mostly in solitude and hunt alone and do not spin webs. They also can inject venom if continuously provoked. Symptoms of their bites may include swelling, mild pain and itching. The Thomisidae The Thomisidae or commonly known as crab spiders also do not build webs to trap prey, though all of them do produce silk for drop line and sundry reproductive purpose. Some are wandering hunters. Some species just sit on the beside flowers or fruits to grab visiting insects. Both the crab spiders and the wolf spiders are very good hunters. Have you ever thought why spiders aren't caught in their own webs? Well, spider's web has two kinds of threads in it. The ones that make a spiral or circular pattern are sticky. The other threads are not. Those are the ones the spider walks on.